Welcome to the tutorial for locomotion states and move it. So here we're going to have a walking and a jogging state. Um, there are two main ways you could do this. You could build it into the client side prediction to make sure there's no hacking. But this is a reasonably safe thing to do and just let the client handle it because it's never going to be able to exceed any kind of speed. And even if they modify something locally to cheat all it's going to do is give them the same range as what a gamepad has anyway so this is an easy way to do it and honestly it's a sensible way to do it as well so we're going to start by just adding, adding walking and after that we'll add proper locomotion states which will include jogging so to start with i want to use back, backslash because i know it's not used and we're just going to have a property for his walking. We're going to set it whenever you press backs, backslash to whatever uh, the inverse of his walking is. So it'll just toggle this value true and false each time you press the key. We're going to have a function and it's going to be called a, let's say get axis value. It will take a float called axis value and then a float which can just be return value and we're going to mark it pure so we're just going to go uh, map range clamped we're going to go negative one to one because that is the range that this gives us now if we look at the animations, so we go animations, human, locomotion, uh, forward, and we open this up, show the name. So we have a walk slow, which is barely moving, and we have the walk, and we have a jog. So walking happens, this is in a 0 to 1 range, so walking happens at 0 0.125, so we can go negative. 0.125 and 0.25. So doing it this way instead of just clamping it gives us a full range from 0 to negative or to 0.125 on a controller. Whereas if we just clamp it, then you'll only get up to this range. So it would make no difference on a controller than just putting in a partial input. This way changes it, well, properly, we'll put it that way. So I compile, save, get access value, plug that in there. Do the same for the move right. Save it and compile it, and we'll play. So we are walking by default. So if I press backslash, ah, sorry, one moment. And to go select float as walking. If we're not walking, we just use the default axis value. Okay, so now we'll be running. And I press this and it starts walking. Press it again, starts running. Quite easy. So now let's add in jogging or any other state you want. So we will add an enum, blueprints, enum, uh, we just got loco state, oh, locomotion state, can have walk, jog, run, save that. And what we're going to do now, we're going to add another variable called, well, we just call it loco state. State. And we can get rid of this one here. We're going to go set loco state and drag off this and go select and plug loco state in here. So, what we're going to do is increment it. <clears throat> if we're walking, we want to jog. If we're jogging, we want to run. And yeah, if we're running, we want to walk. So, it basically cycles it every time we press backslash. 
to go get access value and we don't want this select float anymore and we want to go select based on this let's plug that in there so for walking it's 0.125 for running it's just one and our jog comes in at 0 0.375 0 0.375 and now we also need the inverse, so let's just multiply by negative 1. Okay, save that. I think we can delete his walking now. Yep. Ah, and the default value should be run. Or actually the default value should be whatever you want to do. The default value. Okay, we're running. We're walking. We're jogging. And we're running. So this is how you change the locomotion set between walking, jogging and running if you want to have a toggle for it. Of course you can just use a gamepad and use a partial movement with the thumbstick to get re reasonably the same result and of course anywhere in between. But for keyboard users or even just limiting this, like this still has an effect on a gamepad because it changes the range. It cannot exceed what you've put here and you get that full range. Alright, that's all. Thank you for watching.